And here we are back at the UPSF joint line. Uh, my friend's layout down in his basement. Uh, it's a typical Wednesday afternoon here. So I'm uh, gonna do a little work on the railroad. And today I'm actually working on putting uh, resistors on our metal wheel sets and that helps activate the signal system. So today I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that or at least how I do it. And what that's going to do is allow each rail car on our, uh, on our layout to be detectable. So that way, if it's on the main line and uh, it somehow gets disconnected on the back of a train, uh, it's still gonna trigger uh, red blocks for our signal system. That's very important because the last thing you wanna do uh, is have a locomotive down that way and your caboose here and have a whole bunch of freight cars sitting right on that powered switch and the dispatcher think you can throw that switch for one reason or another and throw a switch underneath a uh, train that's sitting there. So that's why we have uh, resistors on every car uh, on our layout. That way um, it's always detectable in every, every block, even the short blocks. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get started now. All right, I'm gonna go through this process pretty quick. Um, that way I can get back to work. So uh, let me start out by showing you the different products we're going to be using. Uh, gel super glue clear fingernail polish, wire glue or conductive paint, whichever name you happen to find it by. This is um, basically a paint type material with um, uh, graphite pigment in there. Graphite is conductive, uh, so that'll actually complete our electric circuit through the resistor. Have our NMRA gauge, X-Acto knife, some very fine tweezers, and of course the cars we're going to work on. Now our resistors come in a roll, a uh, roll of about a couple of thousand. Uh, you can buy them um, much less quantity than that, but you're going to get a better deal uh, if you buy like a bulk pack of several thousand. And they're very small. I don't know if you can see them inside there, if that's focusing or not. I hope it's focusing. Uh, and it comes with this little clear membrane on the outside. You peel that back and it drops a couple into our little bowl there. If I bring the camera down here and show you all of these tiny little specks there in that bowl, you can see there's a black side on one side and it's white on the other side of the resistor. Uh, these side, this resistor is a size 0603. Um, I believe they are 10,000 ohm, one tenth of a watt. So we're going to glue these on the axles. We are going to uh, paint the wheels and the axles up to the resistor with our conductive paint. Um, let that dry. Once that dries, then we're going to cover it with uh, clear fingernail polish and then get out our multimeter and test it to make sure it's actually, um, we did it correctly. All right, so I've got three different cars here uh, that are in various stages of completion with uh, resistor pro um, the resistor process. And uh, that way I can show you step one on one car and then the next step on the other car and the last step on the third car. Uh, so what we are going to start with here is our tank car. Does not have any resistors on the axles. So I'm going to first use my NMRA gauge and ensure that the axles are in the proper gauge. You don't wanna mess this step because once you paint the axles with the conductive glue, you can't adjust the gauge on them or else you would break the, uh, the conductive glue, the paint. So those are all engaged. Uh, there is, on some wheels, uh, the axle is plastic. Uh, on others, the axle is metal, and there's a small little plastic insulator on one wheel or the other. So you have to figure that out. You have to decide where is the um, insulative plastic. For me, on this car, it's, it's on this wheel. So this wheel is, uh, and I'll put an image in the video now to kind of show you the visual of what, uh, what I'm talking about. And uh, what you'll see there is uh, one side of the wheel is completely isolated from the axle and then the axle and the other uh, wheel are all electrically connected. Whereas axles with a plastic, uh, that are plastic, uh, both wheels are uh, naturally insulated from the axle because the axle is plastic. So in that case, you would put the resistor, as, I, as I'm showing you there in the image, you would put the resistor on the plastic axles in the middle, 
and then paint your conductive paint from one wheel to the resistor and then from the resistor back to the other wheel. However, if you look there on the top image with the axle that's metal, you'll see that the um, resistor has to kind of straddle the insulated wheel with the axle. That way uh, the paint doesn't inadvertently go around the, uh, the resistor and bridge the, uh, the wheel directly with the axle because then you'd have a dead short. We don't want that. All right, so come back here. Uh, we're gonna look here. We're going to have our resistors, have our tweezers. So I'm gonna get a very small amount of, you know what, let me get the camera down here closer. Hopefully you guys can see this really well. I'm gonna do my best to make it where you can see what I'm doing. And so we have uh, our wheel right there. And just a very small amount of super glue right there in the corner. Hopefully you can see that. Right there in the corner, very small amount of super glue. Then we have our tweezers. We have our resistors. So I've got one resistor. There are the tweezers. I've got it white side out, and I'll explain why in a little bit. I'm going to put that at an angle right in the super glue, straddling the axle and the wheel. Use my X Acto knife tip to make sure that it's seated down there in the glue so the glue can set up. Okay, so I'm going to set this car aside now. It's got the resistor on there, the glue's going to dry. I'm going to set this car aside. And I'm going to go on to car number two, which has, you can see here, this is a plastic axle and I've got the resistor right in the middle there. Uh, so I've got the, this, I glued this one up uh, last week. So that's already glued. So I'm going to get my conductive paint. And I use just a toothpick and I just put a very small amount on the tip of the toothpick. And I'm going to start out close to the resistor, but not right at the resistor. And I want to work that paint right up to the tab, the metal tab, without covering the entire resistor. This is why I'm using the white side out, because then as long as I can see some white, uh, then I know that I haven't got too much um, conductive paint on there. So you want to make sure you bring the paint all the way up onto the wheel so it makes a really good connection onto that wheel. Paint it on there with the tip of that toothpick. Go to the other side. I'm going to slowly work that up right up to it, but not all the way across it. And then pull it back over to the other side of the wheel. A little at a time. You can't get in a hurry with this. Okay. So now that resistor is painted. So that glue needs to dry. And I'm going to set that car aside. That was step two. Now step three here, if we look at this car, this one, hopefully you can see it there. And I, I don't know if you can tell, uh, I did not use the white side out on this one because I just didn't think of that. But uh, that has been painted with the conductive paint last week. So now I'm going to get my clear fingernail polish. And this adds just a coating to protect the wire glue from chipping off. So just a little bit of clear fingernail polish and paint it basically over any of the conductive glue that you painted on last time. All the way over, both sides. Careful not to get it on the wheel treads because you would not be able to detect this car on your main line if you did that. So paint it, good coat. It doesn't have to be really thick, just, uh, just a thin layer to cover it, protect it. And that is it. Now I'm going to get my multimeter and go test a car that is uh, completely done and uh, finished and uh, show you what the reading will look like on a multimeter. 
All right, so I've got my uh, multimeter here. I've got it set to uh, measure uh, resistance in ohms. So we set it somewhere around like 20,000 ohms. It's fine. Uh, we've got our probes here. And you can see that if we touch our probes and just complete the circuit, it reads basically zero resistance because it's just straight through. I mean, there's just very little to give any kind of resistance. So whenever we do this to our wheel set, you can see that it flashed there 11. 11,000 ohms, 19, there are some imperfections in there, but basically every time I put the uh, probes on there, it is measuring some resistance, and that resistance is what's going to uh, detect on our uh, current detection signal system. So uh, that way the, the, uh, the detection system knows that there's something on that track in that section that's uh, drawing uh, current. So... That, uh, that's basically the process. So, uh, surface mount uh, resistors, SMD, surface mount device, I think. Uh, you get those, you glue them onto the axle in the appropriate location, let the glue dry, paint it with conductive paint or conductive glue, uh, let that dry, uh, cover it in clear fingernail polish, let that dry, and you are good to go. So, uh, you know, if you've only got 100 cars, well, that's not too bad. You got five or 600 cars, it takes a while. But then once it's done, it's done. A uh, couple of points uh, to make light of here. You do, of course, uh, need one on each end of the car. So normally you would put one, one resistor per truck. Uh, then that way, whichever side of the car happens to be straddling a powered switch uh, is gonna be detected. And obviously this only works on metal wheels. It doesn't work on plastic wheels. Um, because plastic's not conductive. Uh, with that, if you have any questions or comments or um, tips or techniques, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all of my subscribers and um, look for you on the next video. See ya.